One, Shana Hubers tried to convince the jury that the only reason she killed her ex-boyfriend was because she had to. Yeah, but jurors didn't buy it. She is once again a convicted murderer, but Poston's family is still suffering tonight. And they released this statement shortly after that verdict saying they embrace justice, but do not feel joy. They say, quote, it's been six long and heartbreaking years without our beloved Ryan. Jeff Hirsch has covered this trial from the very start. He brings us this report tonight. It took the jury in Shana Huber's second trial the same five hours that it took for the jury in her first trial to come back with the exact same verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Shana Hubers, guilty of murder under instruction number five. Shana Hubers shot and killed her on and off boyfriend, Ryan Poston, in Poston's Highland Heights condo on October 12, 2012. The defense argued it was self-defense that Poston verbally and physically assaulted Hubers. Calling her an effing hillbilly, that she's crazy, that she's deranged, degrading her education, where she went to school, degrading what her plans were for the future as a school counselor, degrading her own self-worth. I can't love you, no one can love you, you can't orgasm because you were touched as a child and no one will ever love you. But the prosecution argued successfully again that Hubers shot Poston six times because he was going to break up with her. So for three more times, she raises the gun and fires into Ryan Poston's twitching body until she fired the final shot where she knew it would kill him. The jury had other options besides murder or not guilty. The possibilities were for lesser charges with lesser sentences, like manslaughter or reckless homicide. But the jury said no to those options and said that Shana Hubers is a murderer. This case is not finished yet. We still have to have what's called the penalty phase. That's where the jury recommends what the sentence should be. This is not a death penalty case, so in Kentucky the other options are life in prison or anywhere between 20 to 50 years in prison. The last jury in the first trial recommended 40 years. This jury has a lot of leeway. They could take less, they could take more, they could take the same. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. All right, so that penalty phase that Jeff just mentioned actually begins tomorrow. Hubers received 40 years after the first trial. That verdict, though, was thrown out because the juror was a convicted felon.